Hi guys and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Remake video. In today's video I'm just going to discuss a few beginner tips surrounding potions and the potion vendor machines that I wish I had have learned a little bit earlier on in the game and hopefully it'll put you in good stead early on your journey through Midgar. With that being said, let's mosey. So by now you'll notice these potion vendor machines are scattered around Midgar and they're mainly on battle routes throughout the slums. Now you might think you've got the item shops at every town which is great but sometimes when you're on the road you do need to stock up on some curatives. So firstly obviously they are a great source of potions early doors and it gives you an opportunity to stock up on them as you make your way around Midgar. But as we all know that is obvious but there's just a few things that I kind of feel will help you and the first is these vendor machines actually have items that have been reduced in cost a very limited stock as you can see on the screen now but i would personally pick all of these up as we all know gil is very rare in the beginning so saving money anywhere would be a bonus secondly these actual machines do come with a lot of the newly added collection of music that's scattered through midgar so upon entering seventh heaven you'll notice as a jukebox and you can collect music throughout the world of midgar now a lot of these machines are home to some of that music and exclusively to those locations so just in case you can't access any of these areas at a later date it is worth making sure you buy all the music it is a must for the avid trophy hunter and collector now my final tip regarding the vendor machines and potions in general is make sure you stock up on normal potions as much as you can. So I like having around 50 to 60 potions on me at all times because you never know when you're going to come into a situation where you can't get to an item shop for a long time. But not only that, you will notice you do start picking up high potions quite early on. But still, I would recommend buying potions and here's why. So during battle, you can heal yourself. But obviously, when you get to a certain point in the game, potions just aren't going to cut it. But the only problem is high potions are still really expensive. So, but the reason I mentioned before about having maybe 50 to 60 normal potions still is simply because you can heal your characters outside of battle now you can use potions you can use high potions or even mega potions and you can also use the spell cure but at a cost of using your mp and ethers and mega elixirs are expensive so I suggest buying potions to heal your characters out of battle like you can see on screen now and save high potions and any more expensive curatives for in battle purposes. It's cheap, it's effective, you've got as much time to heal outside of battle as you want so obviously taking your time healing up with potions is going to be saving you some money. Anyway that is it for today guys, I hope you did enjoy these little beginner tips. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more Final Fantasy VII Remake content, and until next time, take care.